from a Yagi's defensive side, George, he, his legs are, are completely off limits the way he's keeping them so far back. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the way he stands, if you look where his head is in the mat and where his legs are, they're so far back, it's very difficult to get under him and get into those legs. But like I said, Kaiponov so far doing a good job of just, just being active enough and a beautiful counter attack there from Kaipanov puts another two on the board and we'll get a one for the passivity on top of that so a big shift in this match now Oyagi asking his corner for a challenge but if I was him not the smartest decision and great work from the from the coach saying no two points was valid beautiful ankle shot there Komiyagi needs to try and posture up, bring his head up. Turning into his man ever so slowly, needs to try and work on that ankle a little bit more. Dangerous position for the knee for Kaipanov though, very dangerous. Referee needs to take a look at it. That is some flexibility from Kaipanov. It sure is. I've got knee pain just looking at it, so. Indeed, Kaipanov surfaces after it all with a 3-1 lead still. Yagi with 30 seconds left. And if there was a time to go, it is now. He's got this front headlock position. He needs to try and rip his elbow out because Kaipanov will stay there. He's going to go for that front headlock, but the wrong decision, in my opinion. So, not a reversal point for you, George. No, he should have really. Just stayed in the front headlock position, try and work his man, shift him left, shift him right, and try and get behind for the two points. Ayagi gets two back, but he's out of time. Well, it all exploded to life in the last 30 seconds. It's blue arms raised in the air, blue towels flying, and a light blue flag. Kazakhstan with the gold medal. Nokoza Kaipanov delivers the biggest medal of his career. Well calculated one as well, wasn't it? It was a perfectly timed score late in that second period to go ahead. 5-3.